What is up, guys? Kobe Covington versus Kamsa Kamayev, the fight that's gonna happen next, guys, and one that I'm super excited for. Now, before I get into who I'm gonna pick in that uh, future matchup, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel, guys. I'll greatly appreciate it. So, official prediction, who I'm gonna take in this fight, guys, I'm going to take Kobe Covington. Now, before I get into my reasons why, I will admit that stylistically, this matchup is much better for Kamsa Kamayev than it is uh, for Gilbert Burns, because Gilbert Burns was a phenomenal grappler, great submission, great jiu-jitsu, and he also had incredible knockout power. With Kobe Covington, we have a guy who is a great wrestler, but who isn't really known for his grappling, and someone who also is not really known for his uh, knockout power. Nevertheless, um, I do think that Kobe Compton is someone who can really push the pace on Kamzat Kamaev, especially if he starts landing on Kamzat Kamaev and starts tagging him or even rocks him. Because as we saw in Kamzat Kamaev's fight, against Gilbert Burns, we saw Kamayev kind of slow down significantly in the later, in you know the third round, for example, and in round two, after he was getting tagged over and over and over again. And we all know a guy like Kobe Compton is known for his gas tank, guys. So when it comes to striking, I really see Kobe Compton, you know, really laying on uh, Kamsa Kamayev and getting him tired and really kind of picking him apart with the striking. Um, and this isn't to say that Kamsa Kamayev is going to go out there and not be able to land on Kobe Compton. I just think that Kobe Compton will be the better, the more precise striker and really be able to put the pressure on Kamsa Kamayev and potentially break him down. So that's in the striking department. If you move over to the wrestling department, this is where it is a little bit more interesting. Um, one thing I will give Kamsa Kamayev is uh, chairs for is the fact that he was able to he was able to take down Gilbert Burns. However, guys, it is important to notice and realize that Gilbert Burns is a grappler and not a wrestler. Like Chell Sutton said in his prediction video, you know, Burns versus Kamsa Kamayev was really wrestling versus jiu-jitsu. So it's no big surprise there that Kamsa Kamayev was really able to take down Gilbert Burns. But as you saw in the fight, when it got to the ground, uh, Kamsa kind of let Burns up because he wanted no play or no type of interaction with his jiu-jitsu. That's not going to happen in a potential fight with Kobe Compton, guys. It's going to be wrestling versus wrestling. And who do we think is the better wrestler? Well, guys, in order to answer that question, we have to look at, you know, the competition and, you know, what both of these wrestlers have done with their wrestling in their fights. We've only seen Kamsa Kamayev, you know, sure, he's been a phenomenal, you know, wrestler taking down a lot of his opponents, but against a top-ranked guy, he's only taking down Gilbert Burns, who, again, guys, is not known for his wrestling. He's a grappler. As opposed to Kobe Covington, who we've seen take down Jorge Masvidal, who has pretty good takedown defense. We've seen him controversially, you know, uh, take down Kamar Usman, who's known as being, you know, the best wrestler in the whole division. So Kobe, Kobe Covington's wrestling is something not to uh, underestimate, guys. I know Kamar is a big guy. He's easily, easily can fight in middleweight, and he's a strong wrestler. But guys, don't underestimate Kobe Covington's wrestling ability as well. Um, do I think Kobe Covington takes down Kamar? Um, it, it's possible. It's possible. Do I think he will be able to control Kamayev? No. I think if Kobe takes down Kamayev, it's not going to be uh, in, in any dominant positions like he did with Masvidal, nor will it be in any dominant positions like he had against Usman. I think if he takes down Kamayev, it will be for two or three seconds and really just a score, a point. And the reverse, I believe, is also true for Kamzat Kamayev. I don't see him, you know, picking up Kobe Covington, throwing him to the ground, and controlling him for all five rounds or three rounds. It's probably going to be a five-rounder. I just don't see that happening, guys. So I think both of these fighters, they're wrestling with negate, negate each other. And I think uh, the fighting will be dictated by striking, which I give the edge to Kobe Covington for. So for those reasons, guys, I'm going to have to, you know, give my hat and tip my hat towards Kobe Covington. I'm not the biggest Kobe fan, but you know, I have to look at these things objectively. But apparently guys, I'm wrong because Kamsa Kamai was actually a betting favorite, I believe, against Kobe Covington. I mean, do you think that's accurate guys? Do you you know do you agree with me? Do you think Kobe um would be Kamsa Kamai? Do you think Kamsa Kamai would be Kobe? Do you agree with my reasons why Kobe would win? And, you know, if you think that Kamsa would win, what are your reasons why? Let me know in the comments below, guys. Again, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.